What's going on, everybody? I am here with my trusty steed and thinking uh, about what it means to be a good neighbor. The conversations at the doors uh, during canvassing have made me think about this, and here are some examples of what I call neighborhoodliness. There's examples of people who have an elderly neighbor uh, and they would go wandering away and then as soon as they do there's a text message goes to the person where the, the place where they live and other neighbors will look out and walk them back there's a way that they are supporting their neighbors by supporting their family and just being there for the people that live next to them or there's examples of people who have a small business they have a non-profit and all the neighbors know about it and they go there to celebrate, they walk over for they dinner. They tell their neighbors, they know someone who has a young person who's in trouble and they reach out to them. There's so many neighbors uh, that have amazing businesses in the area. So they're letting people know about it and amplifying the work that those people are doing so that their business can prosper, so that they can stay in their house, they really like them as their neighbor, they want them to stick around. All that stuff happens. There's an amplification of the work that they do. And lastly, I've seen so many garage sales and street sales that are happening. And then when I talk to people at the door, they talk about before COVID, how they'd have street parties and people would come and they'd, everyone would come out of their houses and they'd bring them onto the, the street, the barbecue. almost close their street down and they would connect. Doesn't that sound like support, amplify, connect? That's exactly it. That is exactly what it takes to be a good neighbor. That, my friends, is neighborhoodliness. And the pause that that gives me is to say, what would my neighbor say about me? Am I a good neighbor? Because the reality is the way that I neighbor is the way that I'm going to lead. The way that I neighbor is the way I'm going to lead. So as you think about who you put on your ballot on October 24th, think about that person who is going to be a good neighbor because they will be a good leader. Enjoy your weekend. We out. Thanks for watching Martin Reed Mississauga. Like, subscribe, and share for more content. And check out martinreed.ca to contribute with your time, your money, and your vote to this campaign.